Hey folks, this is your host Mandeep. It is uh, Monday, uh, August the 17th and uh, today I'll do a tutorial to address a very commonly asked question which is uh, can you create a scan on any study um, and the answer to that is uh, generally yes and uh, and why do I say that is because uh, as long as the study is simple and it is uh, not you know too complex in nature in other words you know it doesn't have thousands of lines of code you'll be able to create a scan on this um, as far as 99% uh, of the TOS studies are concerned you should be able to create a scan on that so clearly you need to understand a little bit about um, the underlying technical indicator so you know uh, what parameters are you looking at when you create a scan so for illustration purpose I'm going to take the example of uh, MACD moving average convergent divergence because that's one of the most commonly used indicator and uh, let's look for that study here and we'll open up the code so we'll add that study first and then we'll open this so now one of the things as you can see is that it has something called a plot function so as long as you have a plot function inside the code it means you can use that uh, value to create a scan so in, in other words you can create a scan for value average diff zero line up signal down signal now uh, MACD is nothing but the difference between uh, a fast length and a slow length so in this case uh, or the standard definition for MACD is the difference between the 12 period exponential moving average subtract from that the 26 period exponential moving average that's really your MACD histogram now in order to further smoothen it out we use a 9 period moving um, average of the MACD so when MACD crosses above the 9 period exponential moving average then it is considered a bullish uh, sign and then when it is below it is uh, a bearish sign and uh, the diff is nothing but the difference between the value and the average between these two and of course if it is positive that means it is headed uh, in the uh, upside direction and when the difference is negative that means it's more it is actually bearish right and uh, so let's take a quick peek here at uh, what it means now so so let's take uh, we can look at any example so in this case as you can see you have a situation where uh, the MACD is above the nine period moving average it's also trading above the zero line so this is the zero line so in this case also your MACD is above the uh, exponential moving average but it is below the zero line so it depends upon you know what kind of criteria you want to define so if you want to like pick it up here then you wouldn't care whether it's above the zero line or below the zero line but if you care about that then you will have to make it um, a little bit more restrictive in nature so now now that we understand what the parameters are so this is your MACD this is uh, um, this is the moving average this is the zero line right so those are all the things that you need to know in order to create a scan so let's head in in the scan and we'll uh, and uh, we'll add a filter in which is a study filter here click on the edit button edit again and then look for study type in MACD here and uh, double click on this so here you find the values that we looked when we were peeking inside the code right so your value which is the actual MACD the average which is the nine period moving average the difference between these two is the diff this is a zero line the up signal and down signal and you know you can also create a signal just based on that so let's say we want to we'll just uh, make it simple and say the diff is greater than zero so that means the moving average is above the moving average uh, average point uh, the the MACD is above the moving average so now in this case diff is just needs to be greater than zero right so we'll just select the value and hit zero here and save it okay now let's just add a couple other filters here just because I just don't want to have too many stocks inside the uh, the scan and uh, so let's make some edits here so what we want to do is we just want to look for stocks which have an average volume in the last 30 days to be greater than 1 million so 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then we want to have stocks that move a certain amount during the day so let's say ATR which is the average true range for these stocks the difference between the high and the low is greater than uh, let's call it five so hit OK and uh, click on the scan button let's see what kind of results we get so as you can see we get um, uh, 
a decent number of stocks here. There's 37 stocks here that uh, you know meet this criteria. Now let's take uh, a look at a couple of these stocks. So let's take a look at um, Nikola, which has been trading quite a bit uh, lately. And one of the things that you see here is that yes, the MACD is above the zero line, but uh, sorry, the MACD is above the average, but it is below the zero line. Right? Let's say you want to further restrict it so you only see these situations when it is above zero and above the average. So let's just go back into the scan and let's add another filter today. And uh, click on the study filter, same thing. We will look for the study called MACD and uh, double click on it. And in this case, we're going to look at the value. We want this value to be greater than zero as well. So it's greater than, and the value here is zero. So save this. And uh, hit the OK button. Let's click on scan and see what happens now. As you can see, a number of the stocks got eliminated. So we were at 37, now we have 31 stocks, right? So the common criteria among all of these stocks is that MACD is above the moving average and MACD is above the zero line. So let's take a look at a couple of these, right? Let's take a look at uh, ring. So as you can see, it is just barely crossed. So it's above zero, above the zero line. Um, Apple, Apple was on the list as well. And uh, same thing, you know, uh, above the zero line and above the moving average. So hopefully this gives you a little bit of a perspective of how to create uh, a quick scan using um, uh, the, the scan capability, which is very powerful in think Thinkorswim. The thing that you can now try is, um, I'm assuming each of you have your own favorite indicators. You can play around with it and create the, you know, a scan using this criteria. And as I showed you, you don't need to be a coder. You don't need to um, write uh, uh, you know any think script code on it all you need to do is uh, drag and drop and you should be able to create some simple scans of course for creating more complex scans you need to be a little bit more proficient in uh, thinker script uh, programming but uh, for simpler stuff you don't need to so we'll just take a look at uh, some of the trades from today as well so let's uh, take a look at uh, the scan and see what what are some of the stocks is Tesla Nvidia OSTK so let's take a look at how the performance was let's look at those on the 15 minute chart and uh, let's start with Tesla and in Tesla you can see we got two trades you know so there was one trade right off the bat and we'll take a look at those two reports the first trade generated uh, assuming uh, this defaults to 100 shares so it generated 13 grand and the next trade generated uh, 3 grand so if you followed this Entirely today, you ended up making about fifteen and close to sixteen thousand dollars. Then let's look at uh, OSTK and see what kind of trades we got. Um, in this case, as you can see, there was a trade right off the bat as well. And uh, look at the show report and this did twelve forty six. Let's take a look at Nvidia. And uh, see, so yeah, and there was uh, another trade on Nvidia as well. Which is worth 875. So that's the, uh, those are the trades that were generated by the ultimate trading uh, strategy. So hopefully this helps. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, let me know, and I'll do my best to uh, address them um, in the forum as well. So joy, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.